Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf. I'm joined today by Kate Smith at the Second Swing Tour Van in the Dallas store. And uh, we got a fun one today, Kate, because we're kind of dialing in your game a little bit today. So uh, for those who haven't seen it yet, go watch the What's in the Bag video we did with Kate. Uh, she talked a little bit about, well, in, today in particular, what's relevant is kind of the irons up to maybe three wood in the bag. And so I know you wanted to do a, maybe a little bit of an analysis and see if you need to change anything. So. Uh, before we kind of dive in, maybe just talk to me a little bit about what made you kind of think about this as potentially an issue to be fixed. Yeah, so currently I have a four iron, a three hybrid, and a three wood. Um, I like the gapping between the hybrid and the, the three wood. Yeah. Um, but the four iron, sometimes I don't feel like it might not carry as far as it should yeah. or land as soft as I want it to, especially on those kind of like firm and fast golf courses and okay. like the Southwest or, you know, those bent grass greens during the summer. Yeah. So I think there could be some improvement as far as equipment to help me, yeah. help me out. Yeah. So we have, we've, we've gathered the data and, and Kate's actually already hit some shots. So on the screen, you'll see, uh, her, you know, we have five good shots essentially with each her four iron, her three hybrid and three wood. And so I think what we're, what we're seeing on the numbers is like you mentioned that that gap or that difference between your three wood and your three hybrid is pretty solid in terms of, it's about a 15 yard difference total, right? Yeah. Um, and 10 yards roughly in terms of carry. So I think that's pretty solid for you. And you have uh, almost a stock swing that you can use from 200 a little bit to 215, right? Um, for carry numbers anyway. Yeah. And then you drop down to the four iron and you lose about 20 to 25 yards. And so I think that's what you're trying to maybe solve a little bit with this issue. So um, I guess, and, I, and I, I imagine you notice that on the course when you get to that spot and you're like, I either need to really swing hard at this four iron or I need to kind of lay off this hybrid. Yeah, it's about that 195 number that I'm trying to dial in. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, it's just not, you know, a hybrid is not a club I love taking a lot off. Yeah. If I do take some off of it, it means I might hit a knockdown, I might hit it lower. Um, and that's not really getting it to land the way I want to on the green. Yeah. So I think there could be, you know, a few different clubs we could look into to yeah. maybe replace the four iron or, um, yeah. you know, swap both of the clubs. Yeah, I think so. We've, we've gathered a couple options already. And I think, well, for one, we know you're primarily, you like to play Titleist. So we've got Titleist clubs to try. But um, I think based on this and seeing this, I think almost, I don't want to say, well, maybe it is replacing that four iron in the bag, which is with something, whether it's a four hybrid or whether it's a, maybe it's a four utility iron, but something that might be built to get higher in the air than the four iron that's in your set. And then with that, more height might give you some more carry and might give it a little bit more of a gapping, uh, yeah. I guess, better fit gapping wise. Yeah, and even maybe the spin rate, see that number mm -hmm. change a little bit. I mean, the hybrid is spinning at a better rate than mm -hmm. my four iron, even though it's a lot lower loft. So. Yeah, something to look into. Yeah, that's that's true because I think you see that enough separation there too. This it's spin between three wood, three hybrid, but then things get a little bit tighter between the three hybrid and the four iron too. So you kind of want that four iron to have a, just a little bit more probably yeah. than that four at forty one hundred. So um, I think so. Here's what we're gonna do. I think um, so. We've got a few options here. I know we've, we've grabbed a seven wood of the TSR two. We also I think we're gonna grab a uh, a, a Titleist utility iron. Okay. And then also a hybrid, probably a four hybrid, is yeah. what I think would be best. And we can kind of compare those and then we'll hit those shots and then we'll kind of come back and see how they compare to the four iron. And maybe you find something better for the bag. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. This will be fun. All right. That might be a similar, similar to my hybrid. That one launched a lot higher. Yeah, that was like a, a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other ones were not, not so good. Okay, that was a good ball. Yeah, I mean, that would be kind of a fun shot to have in the bag. That was good, I think. Yeah, it was. Wow. I don't know why you'd want any other, I mean, <laughs> other than the fact that it does the same thing as your three hybrid, but yeah. the one is working for you. <laughs> Okay. Sweet. You're hitting that a lot higher, that's for sure. Yeah, I like it. All right. I think we might be getting somewhere with this one. 
Yeah, I think so too. Hey, that's that looks really good to me. Yeah. Sick. No, I really like it. Took off a lot lower, which is affected. Yeah, but not terrible. Okay. Another thing too that's different with this one compared to your actual set is that it's a graphite shaft, you know. So the shaft is going to be kind of your fairy wood hybrid type shaft. Yeah, versus, it's a little more forgiving for sure. Versus the uh, the steel iron shaft. So, so Kate, uh, some interesting testing here. Uh, yeah. I think so. We tested uh, we in addition to your gamer four iron, a uh, three hybrid and three wood. We then threw in three other clubs: a U510 four iron or four utility iron, um, and then a TSR2 four hybrid and seven wood, and both of those were at 21 degrees aloft. The four iron, the U510 is actually 22 degrees aloft, so okay. one up from that. So um, we kind of have everything up there, like a, an abstract painting kind of yeah. up there. Uh, but I first just want to get your thoughts without even diving into the numbers, just your initial kind of, um, your initial reaction to hitting all three of those. If, if one jumped out at you as maybe feeling the best or looking the best to you, or if you're just kind of not even really about that, you're like, just show me the numbers. Yeah, no, I'm definitely a feel person. Um, numbers don't really excite me, okay. but I know they're important. Uh, definitely interesting hitting like practically, you know, three totally different clubs yeah. at the same loft. Yeah. Um, so I felt like they all acted a, a little differently. Yeah. Um, I was personally drawn to the, like the driving iron, the four iron, um, because okay. I feel like I can get the height I need yeah. to when I want to carry it, but it doesn't take away that like low runner yeah. if I need it. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the fiber, five hybrid gave us a lot of good numbers, but it might be like a little too high for day to day yeah. play. Yeah, that's kind of what I was going to point out is how consistent, first of all, like your, your dispersion circle, that green one is pretty tight in there. So pretty consistent. Um, now we should also mention, I think with these, these like these two shorter four irons um, with the U510 down here, I think you were trying to kind of go for that you know, the weaker cut is kind of what you yeah. were trying to play there. So that's probably why that dispersion looks a little bit more elongated. But right. um, numbers wise, I think so. Ultimately, we were going for something. I think you were trying to get something between a four iron and a three hybrid, something that's, you know, gets those a little closer together. Right. Mm -hmm. And I think especially with the four, the, the hybrid that you just hit and the four iron, you really accomplish that because you see the carry distances are a little bit especially with this four this four iron you're talking about that the u510 yeah you gained seven yards of carry that was with a couple of shots that was kind of those weak the yeah you know weak cut i try to say that respectfully because it's a it's a tough shot to hit actually <laughs> yeah. you know knocking down a cut there um you actually gain more spin on that more speed and then i know the height was the big thing too on that far right column you can see the height the four iron was almost the highest average height peak height of okay. them so the seven one was actually 92 feet yeah. And then on average, the four iron was 91. So uh, you're able to hit that one higher, land it softer. Um, and then also, like you mentioned, that type of club is also designed to hit that low runner if you should mm -hmm. want it. So Yeah, and I think what's cool too is like, this is a very similar shaft that's in my yeah. three wood and my driver. Yeah. So, and def I have steel iron. So having the four iron have a graphite shaft, yeah you know, allows me to pick up that extra speed that we were mm -hmm. talking about, which is pretty nice, you know, yeah. at, at that yardage, you know, 185 to 200 is kind of, you know, you want to have some forgiveness right. there. Yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, because so that shaft is the, it's the, I guess the original version of the hazardous uh, smoke black, um, which I believe is a few years ago is when they introduced it. But um, it's, that's the one in that utility iron, like, and like you mentioned, a little bit more forgiving and easier to maybe swing with a longer iron versus the steel shaft that you might be having in your in your current set yeah so and i think this is just a fun look at this whole section of the bag so i think so many golfers out there just kind of ignore this part you know and this which in a lot of cases you can get away with it because there's only a couple times around you actually need this specific yardage yeah. but when you do it's important that you have something to trust yeah and on tour we do you know a lot of practice rounds to try to like figure out where we're going to lie back from yeah. so i think you know, interesting thing here is that I could easily, you know, get the seven wood and replace that with my three hybrid if I needed, mm -hmm. you know, like a little bit different trajectory for that week or yeah. something like that. So I think, you know, th those could be interchangeable as well. It's kind of nice to be a little bit more educated, like you said, about yeah. the top of the bag. I think 
we worry about the driver a lot, but you know, these clubs come in handy. Yeah, that's actually a great point. I didn't even think of that, but that's it's true. So the seven wood distance wise is actually more or less the same. I mm -hmm. mean, your carry distance was off by a single yard, uh, but the difference is going to be in the launch and the height, right? So you gained, you're hitting it 12 feet higher on average, the peak height with the seven wood, um, and then your launch angle is a degree higher as well. So um, that's the difference there. And like you said, if you're playing, you know, if it's going to be, you know, a calm day on the course, wind won't be much of a factor. You can probably throw that seven wood in instead of a three hybrid and land it softer on the green if you're trying to go after a par five. Definitely. For and it looked like that seven wood, I kind of turned over a little bit more often, a little bit tighter scatter pattern than mm -hmm. my current three hybrid, which I'm used to playing a fade with that one. So I think, you know, shot shape comes into it as well as, you know, what, yeah. what is the course demand? So. Right. And as a pro player, I mean, it's, it's not, I, I, I hear stories and you know you see it all the time is players have multiple clubs at this part of the bag that they can shift you know they depending on the conditions that day or how the course is playing what have you they can switch to those things so um, Absolutely. It's, it's I imagine for you that's that's exactly what you're looking for you yeah, know, have just, those options there you know if there's a you know one day on this in this tournament it's perfectly calm the next day you got 20 mile an hour winds that might change what you want in the bag yeah I think the versatility is really nice especially we play in a lot of different climates I mean I'm not going to the Scottish swing like the PJ Tour yeah. or stuff like that, where you see, you know, mm -hmm. I think we'll see the Open this year that they talk about it a lot on oh, the yeah. telecast, like putting in a two iron or three iron. So, um, you know, people are the best in the world. So I want to learn, yeah. learn from what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, they, it's whether it's a PJ Tour, LPGA Tour, they're all doing that. You know, they're making mm -hmm. these little equipment changes because it helps them play better. And so uh, I think, I mean, this was cool to see. I, I, I just watched a pro player analyze the gapping at the top of her bag like that was really cool to see and so I think it's for you I think I think again watching from afar like you now have all these options and you know kind of what you can trust to get out of each of them and it's gonna be a little bit different every time yeah no this is a first for me I mean like I said I'm not a numbers person so I, I stray away from some of this stuff and uh, it's nice to dive into it during mm -hmm. the off season and you know feel really confident about what you have you know in your mm -hmm. hands yeah. on those shots. Yeah, so I think you have you know this is the this is the four hybrid that we hit mm -hmm. that you really I think is the one club that I think we're not really finding a use for for you yeah. right now. I think the four iron utility iron in your hand is definitely one that you'll probably walk away with. Yeah, you'll probably <laughs> yeah. walk away with. And then that seven wood, like you mentioned, as potentially something to mix in there with a the three hybrid is also an option there. So. Yeah. Um, I think, I, I mean, it seems like a lot of information and something that I think not just a pro player, but any golfer can probably benefit from something yeah. like this, just working with a fitter and getting this type of information from TrackMan. Super. Yeah. I think it was super successful. And especially like, you know, we have a lot of snowbirds in Minnesota. Oh, like yeah. you need a lot different bag up in, you know, if, yeah. you, if you can afford it, you know, you might want to change a few things when you're out in the desert in Arizona yeah. for a mm -hmm. few months. and. Maybe you need something that lands a little softer than into the oh, bent yeah. grass of uh, yeah. Minnesota. So I think, well, you know, lots to think about there. Yeah. Also, as we know, you know Minnesota can get a little windy in the summer too <laughs> yeah. sometimes. And then that changes things. So yeah. uh, I think this is really cool, though. Uh, so I, I, I appreciate you for coming in and, and kind of doing this while, you know, we have you here because, uh, well, A, we hope it helps you uh, yeah, play better golf. But I also think... You know, B, I think a lot of golfers will see this and realize they could really maybe use this information for their own game and maybe they'll schedule that fitting with us a second swing as well and we can help them. Definitely. This has been great. Thank you so much.